Hey, yo, shalom. Welcome back to my channel, to Bomb Two Scene of the Vibes. You know what time it is. We out here. So today we back again, man. This album was released through Ghetto Hearts Media. I think it's Touchlines. I think it's Touchlines record label. Yeah, I think he owns the label or he's a director there or something like that. But anyway, um, a beautiful album. The album is titled The Boys in the Hood. Is actually um, inspired by the goated crime movie the american crime movie released in 91 um, featuring cuban gooden jr i think and give on with um ice cube and yeah obviously they had to just kind of like you know add, add, add a bit of south african feel to this album to this title by just saying um by, you know um by just saying boys and boys in in a gassy you know? so yeah i actually like that the fact that they added a bit of south african flavor to this and yeah the album houses i think it's nine tracks right yeah it's very clean it's a rubby the rap head stream dog like if you're a rap the rap head like if you like like rap rap this album is for you dog so the end the gents actually i don't know if they actually met before then but they actually worked together i think they worked first together on dj um glenn's viral album the 20 score yeah and from there on yeah they actually <clears throat> I like the synergy and the, the, the album of that song is actually one of the best songs on the album and obviously then from there on they met and you know Tatian said that he's, a, he's always been a, a trail fan and Trill by then said he wasn't actually in a good space to make music and from there on they kind of like just liked each other's energy and voila here we are with a very good project yeah the production is really clean man shout out to zoli left 3k shout out to booty on the track shout out to cyber beat shout out to kaiser beats as well it feels like a touch a touchline in-house because this producers actually worked with touchline on soon too and a couple of other you know touchlines um project you know and yeah bro the, the album actually opens with a very soulful up tempo the crazy snares that we up um as a celebratory song just talk gents talking about their come up and and where they are now and actually being grateful to uh, to anyone that's actually supported them and just like the fact that lyrically this and there's a lot of lot of codables here um you know dog when when trill said um like a band aid we in the card oh my god bro and then and then i, I remember touchline said they asked the lot to intervene so i intervened i was like what Psh, dark and yeah and then obviously touch touch um tell a friend is actually a very i like the placement of the two songs because they're very high tempo and they actually kind of like set the tone to the album and tell a friend is just gents obviously go back and forth here um, but I really like the fact that Tatchin was just in our face, dog. I mean, Trill just kind of like was very laid back, you know, and I guess that has a lot to do with his personality. Yeah, I like the fact that those dogs, like the gens actually tapped into a different, a whole lot of different pockets, bro. Like the, the, the flows were crazy, you know, they had a lot of punchlines, wordplay, every dog, uh, the, everything that has a lot of that pays homage to the essence of what hip hop has always been about you find it here lyrics punchlines word play rhyme schemes is literally here bro and one thing though i kind of like wanted to, uh trail to actually just be in our face as well because sometimes it feels like trail is featured here so i wanted him to actually be to have more presence here but yeah, I'm not complaining to be honest. The super superhero comes through with Jay Jody. Uh, just basically Jan's talking about you know that mech game and being in love as well. And then Eamon is actually yeah, obviously just paying homage, man, to 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 the to the to the uh just paying homage to you know the pioneers of the game. Uh you I mean you so touch here actually paying homage to Uli and them keys, they were pro kit, you know um yeah that, that that actually i didn't really like the song but i didn't mind it you know um and then msg is basically just trail just in a solo bag and basically 
even he they actually took the the, the skit from the actual movie um talking about just being you know authentically black you know and just you know pushing the black agenda forward as well and yeah i really liked the song um shout out to cyber beats actually for 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 the production i think it was really really so far. i like i like the piano keys at the end and the movie again is probably the most south african song here yeah, it's very i think it's like the magnum opus of the of the album if you don't if one here yeah, just came through with that a game it's the most south african song bro like because with the production as well there's a lot of there's a bit of log drums that south african feel to that i'm a piano feel to it and the fact that you see all uh, all the gents rapping in their mother tongue actually rapping in in Benag and shout out to and representing their hood as well and like representing themselves um you look at um uh, trills hd rapping in Benag, which is something i've never heard before and but it was really good to actually hear trill rapping in Benag as well uh then you have touch um you have touchline coming through with tembis uh rapping his hood and then what a way to actually get one of the goats one of the og stock quest dark like with the k1 coming through he was just in pocket lyrically he was so clean bro like i like the the synergy of the three gens here and the skit is actually is it is, is it melusiki gaba about south africa being in a movie obviously like the state of where we are right now so the the, the current state of the country hey, the, hey you know uh, there's a, i miss you know i miss me too as actually just touchline going solo as well talking about how he misses his old self but now he's actually more matured now he is more assured he knows what he wants and obviously he talks about the social ills basically still keeping the same you know agenda of actually it see how we're being impoverished and the fact that he said in lala is the one thing that no kid should actually ever see i stay grounded because at one point that kid was me so yeah that was very deep that was very relatable and how can i be sure is actually a song about betrayal and just the trial and, and tribulations of actually being in a relationship you know sometimes i always wonder like how how since how sincere this gents being here like you know bro like if a girl was to ever cheat on me like i don't think i like I've, I don't, I've never i don't even think i'd actually ever like tell my boys or anything bro like because i'm just being open is really weird though. like the, someone actually uh, so, does something dirty to you and you actually have to put it in a song and the thing is actually gonna be there all the whole time bro look so sometimes i don't know if in Tulia hurry let's just make a relatable scenario or something like that so yeah i don't know how legit this type of stories are but it's still elite storytelling as well and you have hennessy trill still talking about how you know um he'll never sell his soul he ain't buying what they're trying to to sell him so i think this is basically just trill and telling people that yo i'm still gonna be indie um do my own thing but yeah i didn't really like the song because i felt like uh, biting drake a bit especially on the on the on the, on the, on the chorus uh, but i didn't mind it so yeah but anyway dog uh, this album is very clean um it explores different themes here there's so many nuances here um yeah dog if you're watching this please just comment with your favorite lines from the album um uh, from matusi's music corner team and myself bro like here's your flowers gents this album easily gets a nine a strong nine out of ten for me man so yeah shalom man see you guys in the next video Bye.